Now, so far I have spoken about creating the animation and exporting it using Lottie, which involves After Effects, the plugin, and a host of other things. Now, these are all specific to a creator. Now, you might be thinking, hey, I'm not a motion designer, I'm not a creator, but what has Lottie files got for me? You might be one of them who has downloaded one of the free available Lottie animations from the Lottie files website. They are good, but you feel wish you could have made some changes to it. But you don't have After Effects because you're not a motion designer. Don't worry, we've got you covered. When you download a Lottie animation from the website, you get this JSON file. You know, this is santa.json, which I just downloaded from Lottie files. Now this is a JSON file, which means it's lines of code. You see all this text out here? You can perhaps open this on a text editor and try and manipulate something, but that's not how you make changes. And this file, although it was created using After Effects, it's changed into lines of code for good, which means the process is irreversible and you cannot open it using After Effects and make any changes. But you can edit the Lottie directly from the Lottie files website. Let's see how to do it. Here I have a sample Lottie which I had created. It's the like animation in Twitter. You know, it's named Twitter like JSON. All that you need to do is just go to lottiefiles.com slash preview and browse and drop the file here. Let's go ahead and do it. Here I drop it and it instantly shows me a preview of what the animation is. And it gives me a sensation of how it looks. I can expand it and see it in full screen so that I get a better idea of what it is. And here's what the interesting thing comes into the picture. If I go to the handoff tab, it shows me some of the details along with the edit animation option. Now when I click on this, it opens the Lottie editor, which is built within the website. You see it's running on my Chrome browser. It's a tab and here I can edit some of the things of the Lottie animation. So here's my Lottie, the entire Lottie here. And here I have some options to change like the dimensions, which is by default 320 by 320 because I created it that way, along with the frame rate, which is 60 FPS, a duration, which is about one second. And I can change all of them and click on update and it will do it. And I can also change the background color, no light, dark, or any other color. I can change the playback speed. You see the moment I click on this, it changes the playback speed. Yep, I think I'll put it back to one. And I can also change the color of the layers. So here's a list of all the colors which have been used in this animation. So I can pick any one of them and I can choose to find a different color for it. Or I can even browse by layers. You see in the left side, there's a layers panel. Now these are the exact same layers which I had created within After Effects while creating this animation. You see there's one unselected heart which is gray in color followed by you know some seven layers of confetti of different colors. Then there's a circle main which is nothing by the halo which comes behind the heart. Then there's a mask which I had used for masking. And here's a selected heart. Now you can change those things right here without having to use After Effects at all. For example, if I feel that this animation looks right, but for the brand color of my product, this pink heart is not going to look good. It needs to be a shade of orange. It's very simple. You select this and you click on that color out here and you pick the right color that you think is suitable for you. Uh, maybe we pick this shade of orange and all that you need to do is just click update. And you see the heart is now orange and it's not pink anymore. Similarly, you can change the color of all these layers based on your preference without having to use After Effects at all. And this editor, this Lottie editor is absolutely free for you to use. And once you're done, you can always click on this download button and download the updated JSON, which has all the edits that you have made. You click on save and then you go ahead and use it. You may not even need to download that Lottie at all. You can always share it right here from Lottie Files preview panel. If you see here, this is the preview panel where we had previewed our initial Lottie, if you remember. I can give it a name, I'll call it Twitter like. And uh, this is in the preview tab right now. And in the handoff tab, you will see I have this thing called share. This link is nothing but share. So when I click on this, I have a private link which I can share with my developers or other stakeholders who might want to use this Lottie. And I can also enable or disable handoff. So which means if I enable it, 
the viewer, whoever I'm going to share this link with, will be able to download, test and edit the animation just like I did a while back. But if I turn it off, they won't be able to do it. So it's as simple. You do not even have to, you know, send that JSON file as an attachment. All that you need to do is just share this private link safely with your stakeholders.